ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to new video guys. Today we are in the M3 and uh, we are finally doing one of our first cosmetic mods. We've done a couple of cosmetic mods, nothing crazy. I've kept this thing relatively stock over the nine months that I've owned it. Today is the day that we're finally modifying this thing. I've bought a few mods. The first thing we're gonna do though is uh, wrap this thing. So Nor ended up getting a wrap deal and he wants to wrap my car. So we are wrapping my car today. So we are gonna go ahead and show you guys the wrap color here in a second. Nor's gonna pull out his Porsche that is sitting right over there. And uh, we're gonna pull in the M3 and then clean up the car, clay bar, all that fun stuff. The stuff that you're normally supposed to do when you wrap a car and then we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the color. So let's go ahead, jump into doing that stuff right now. Also guys, if you guys didn't see, we ended up installing an exhaust on this thing. Um, I've posted a few videos since installing it, but I'm really enjoying it. Let's go ahead and give it a few revs. Dude, it sounds so good. That exhaust sounds so good. I'm so happy with it. Let's go ahead and pull in the M3. Alrighty guys, so we got the trunk all prepped now. So the last thing we gotta do in order to put on the wrap is to clay bar. So I got a clay bar right here. I'm gonna put some soapy water and just go across the whole trunk just to get all the contaminants out and make sure that the wrap looks good on the paint. So let's go ahead, start clay barring this trunk. All right guys, if you guys can see this clay bar, if you see all that brown stuff, that is contaminants. This is something that you definitely want to do if you're going to be wrapping your car, is you want to use a clay bar right before installing the wrap. It's going to make the wrap stick a lot better, and it's not going to have any little pokes from like dirt or anything like that. Alrighty guys, the trunk is completely prepped now. We went ahead, cleaned it off, clay barred it, made sure to get all around all the corners so that when we tuck in the wrap, it actually sticks and doesn't come up because when you don't do that, if you try tucking the wrap and there's a little bit of like dirt or dust or anything right there, it starts peeling up and we just want to avoid that. So the biggest key tip is clay bar. Make sure your prep work is 100% good to go before you start wrapping. It's going to save you a lot of time and headache. So. Let's go ahead, show you guys the wrap that we got. All right guys, so we got the wrap right here from Vinyl Frog. Um, you guys might be able to see it from right there, but uh, they went ahead and sent this out. And I've always wanted to do a car in this color. It's one of my favorite colors. Let's just go ahead, open it up. You guys can see, it is military green. Is It is a gloss military green color. I've always wanted to do a car this color. I really like the green. It's kind of unique. Most people don't really do green colored cars. I feel like I could be wrong, but uh, I think it will look sick on an E92 M3. Get some nice sick wheels on here and uh, make it a nice green car. Do you have that render photo of- uh, Yeah, I'll go ahead and throw up the photo of like the that idea. That crazy. And I think it looks really sick personally. Uh, I feel like this is a, a color that I've always wanted to do. I really like green, I've never done it. I've done red, I've done purple. I've done a few other colors, but uh, never done green. So let's go ahead start installing this bad boy. I'll throw up that picture so you guys can kind of see the idea that I had. But yeah, let's go ahead and start wrapping that trunk. All right guys, so now you can kind of see the color a little bit more. It's a little bit more like green on the actual in, in person. On the camera it looks a little bit more brown, but it, it is like a military green, so. All right guys, we set the wrap down. So another quick tip, when you are taking the wrap, like the, the back portion off, make sure to do it off the car and off of the ground. You don't want it to be close to the ground because there is a little bit of a static that will attract the dirt. So in order to avoid any imperfections, you take it off the car, pull it, make sure you have someone helping you. This is pretty much a two person job. I really recommend having two people, at least for when you're applying the wrap. When it comes to actually squeegeeing the wrap, 
that's a one person job, but two person job to uh, go ahead and put the wrap onto the car. So that is another little tip trick. Pull the wrap off of the car uh, and then place it down with two people. Alrighty guys, so we just completed the trunk. That took us about two hours to do. Butted it all up, put on the tail lights and everything. So what we ended up doing for this trunk is we did a first layer on the top to right over here, and then a second layer on the bottom part, just so it's easier for us. So it's essentially kind of like an overlay. Installed the tail lights back on, the license plate, the emblem, the other tail light as well, and it is looking really, really good. So we're gonna wrap it up for today. We're gonna catch up with you guys on another day. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. Alright guys, so it is the next week now. We are here back at the shop. As you guys can see, it's been a week of the wrap being on there and it has held up pretty, pretty good, all things considered. So we're gonna go ahead and start prepping. I think we're gonna do the quarter panels today, the side skirts and the doors, possibly the fenders as well. We're gonna try to knock out as much as we can today. We're gonna be here for the whole day. So as much as we can, I'm thinking both quarter panels, possibly the roof, doors, and side skirts and then we might have to wait for the front end until next week and then i reached out to my boy junior uh he has a wrap and tint shop and uh he's gonna be helping us with the bumper so one of these days we're gonna be doing that with him and uh then the car should be officially done the bumpers are definitely the hardest part of any car when it comes to wrapping just because if you look look at how much detail is in the bumper there's gonna be a lot of overlays and it just takes a lot of skill to do the bumper so we're gonna wait for my boy junior to do that he does that all day every day uh, but for the rest of the car it's pretty easy we're gonna go ahead and get started on that right now Alright guys, so we just spent about an hour, hour and a half prepping the quarter panels, the doors, and the side skirts. So we are ready to pull the other wrap and uh, set it onto the car. So I think we're gonna start on this side and then finish the quarter panel, door, side skirt, then go onto the other side. Right, guys so it's been a few hours we finally knocked out this side uh, actually it's like half done half done on each side uh, but we did the quarter panel on this side and the door on this side and then over here we did the quarter panel and the side skirt it took us about four hours three and a half four hours to do that we're about to knock out this door and then this side skirt as well right now the biggest tip i can give you guys is definitely have two people yourself and a friend uh help you lay down the wrap um, it makes things so much easier make sure to prep properly clean every single little area every jam everything really helps with uh, laying down the wrap because to be honest we uh knocked this out pretty quick in the beginning we try to do our own things so like yeah place it down our own sheets and it's like so much better if it's just teamwork you get yeah, a nice teamwork. lay down yeah right and everything else is just flush so definitely work together to lay it down uh, properly. Like on each panel, there's like a line, right? Yeah. So the quarter panel, there's a line right here. 
So we, we, we create that line first and then we work from that line up yeah. and then from that line down. And there's always, oh, we can pick it up or we can pick it up from the top or we can pick it up from the bottom. But as long as we're not picking up the entire sheet, yeah, that's you true. know, that's where it, you start having problems and wrinkles. But yeah, like the doors align, the side skirts align. You just got to find that line, go all the way across and start working from there. For now, we're going to go ahead, do this side skirt on this side and then the door on this side. And I'll, I'll catch up with you guys once we're done with that. We might be able to knock out a few more panels, maybe the roof, maybe the hood. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to get as much done today as possible. Alright guys, and just like that, you guys see Junior is back over here. Uh, he's done some wrapping for us in the past on some of my cars and all my tents. So uh, Junior really hooked it up with uh, helping me out with these bumpers. So I appreciate you for that, bro. Of course, anytime. Yes, sir. Look at these bumpers, guys. So bumpers are honestly the hardest part of any car wrap. There's a lot of overlays that you have to do. Junior is definitely a professional because this looks literally phenomenal. You can barely even tell. It looks so good. The car is pretty much almost done. The last thing we got to do is the fenders. We literally have both fenders left and that's it. Front bumper is done, hood is done. All the little pieces are done. We even got the hood vents wrapped in gloss black as you guys can see. We got the side view mirrors wrapped in gloss black and then we also got the roof wrapped in gloss black as well as the little fin. Let me take this little piece off. But uh, everything else is either, it, it looks kind of brown on camera, but it is more green in person. Um, I don't know why it's picking up as brown. That's kind of unfortunate, but it is a more of a greenish, brownish tone. Not exactly green, not exactly brown. Um, it's technically an army green. I really like how it looks. Let's go ahead and catch up with you guys in a little bit when we are doing the fenders. All right, guys, so it is a few days later. I didn't end up recording today for this video, but uh, the last we left off at was with Junior. He ended up wrapping the bumpers for me. And then today we went ahead and finished wrapping this. You guys will see this in another video, but we went ahead and finished wrapping the fenders and now the car is officially complete. I wrapped these little headlight washers in black. The whole bumper's complete. These are complete up here. These are wrapped in black. Side view mirrors are wrapped in black. Everything is good to go. Even these side markers are wrapped in black now. So everything is all blacked out and the car is officially all green and black. And then we got these. I might wrap these in green. I might do that. I'm not too sure yet. I've been debating on what to do about that. But uh, for now, the car is complete. This army gloss green from Vinyl Frog is honestly looking really, really good. Let's go ahead and pull it onto the sunlight so you guys can see it a little bit better because on camera, for some reason, it looks more brown, but it is green. It's like a greenish brown. It looks more green in person than on camera. On camera, it's like really brown for some reason. So I'm hoping that in the sunlight, you guys can see it a little bit better. Let's go ahead and pull it out though real quick. All right. Alrighty guys, in the sunlight you can kind of tell that it's green. For some reason, it looks more brown right now. I don't know. It's like a greenish brown. It's it's hard to really get a good picture of it. Maybe I'll take a picture on my phone. It, it seems to pick up better on my phone than on this camera. But it is fully complete now. The build is getting one step closer to being in its first form. I plan on keeping this car for a very long time. So we're gonna rock this green wrap for a long time. Curious to see how it holds up. I might do a review video on Vinyl Frog to see how the quality is compared to other wraps. To be honest, I'm gonna make a full dedicated video on just what I think about Vinyl Frog. So far though, the whole look of the car looks phenomenal. It almost looks like paint from a distance. That's how good the uh, quality is. I will say that at least with how it looks. But yeah guys, car is fully complete. It is 
army gloss green and it is looking really really good i've been all in my bag you been all in my business uh, you be all in your feelings uh, i've been all in them trenches uh, i've been all in my bag uh, you be all in my business uh, know they notice me flexing uh, fit in all in my feet what do you think yeah Looks good. I love how it turned out. It's turned out really great, huh? Once the whole car was finished, we didn't see just pieces. <laughs> it looks so good. It does look good, guys. Yeah, I really like the color. I think it really fits the M3. Let me know what you guys think down below. Does this green fit the M3 with the black wheels? It's kind of like going for an all blacked out look. What I've been thinking is I might keep these wheels and powder coat them gloss black. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. I think that's a good idea. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this was about three weeks in the making we really only had Saturdays to work on it but we knocked it out guys we knocked it out pretty quick shout out to vinyl frog for sending out the wrap shout out to Dia for helping us with the wrap shout out to nor for helping us with the wrap shout out to junior for helping us with the wrap I'll leave all of them down below in the description make sure to check out their Instagrams and their YouTube with all that being said though guys make sure to subscribe down below make sure to like the video so remember stay safe stay happy and stay in that project car I will catch you guys later uh, back on deck on my flash